Hey guys, it's Ramon from Eclectic Emissary, and we are back again with another food vlog. This time we're going to be showing you everything to eat in Iceland. So Icelandic food is very interesting. I will tell you I have some of the best food I've ever had in my life, as well as some of the worst food. So stay tuned because we are going to be going all into the best Icelandic foods you'll find all across the country and what restaurants you can find them at. So yeah, let's get right to it. So right at the bottom of the volcano, there's a little food stand. We got hot dogs, lamb soup, a bunch of awesome stuff. Let's so. take a bite. Yeah, man, this is great. This is an incredible place. How's the hot dog? It's busted. Hot dog's great, man. Oh, the dressing. All right. Hey, so we just made it to Fajarin. Bet I can't say the word, but supposedly these are the best hot dogs in town. I don't know. We'll find out. Alright, I know I was talking some crap about the hot dogs, you know, but this might be one of the best hot dogs I've had in my life. Hey. Best hot dogs in the world, man. Really good. Icelandic <laughs> hot dog, bro. It's on the outside. Oh, it's amazing. It's they outside. have crunchy onions in there and these different types of sauce and mustard, and it's freaking amazing. Made with lamb, pork, beef, everything. So you got to come here for the hot dogs, bro. So we somehow spent, what, $130 on the freaking gas station food? It's insane. Anyway, we got some uh, some treats like chocolate milk, some famous Icelandic yogurt, this dry fish thing, which I would not recommend getting, you know, but whatever. It's Iceland, so we're gonna eat the shit. All right, so we are at this awesome seafood restaurant called Messen. And we're gonna try some really good Icelandic seafood. So it's gonna be great, man. Stay tuned. So we ended up ordering the Arctic char, which is Iceland's most common freshwater fish. It's pretty similar to salmon. And it comes in like this huge bowl, like a fish pan. And it was super delicious. Definitely one of my favorite meals in Iceland. So the soup culture in Iceland is super huge, especially when it's cold outside. Nothing warms your heart more than a hot bowl of soup. So you'll find it common at a lot of restaurants, along with lamb, seafood like Arctic char and cod, as well as hot dogs, of course, which are everywhere, but they're all super amazing, so you gotta try them. So we are in the soup company, right down the road from the school bus cafe. And if you take a picture there, you get a 10% discount. So I gotta say, this place is so awesome. It actually shares the same place with the Icelandic Lava Show, which is where we're going later, so it's gonna be pretty awesome, man. You guys gotta check this out. We're getting the lamb soup. All right, so we ordered the uh, lamb soup, which is what our server recommended, and it's freaking incredible. You guys gotta check this out, man. Iceland's soup culture is like on point, man. Probably had some of the best soup I've ever had in my life here, so. Ooh, and it helps with the cold weather, just walking outside, hits the spot. So, just got done eating at this restaurant called Berg, actually inside this hotel over here. Freaking amazing food, super delicious. Probably one of the best we've eaten on our whole trip. Like that lamb, oh my god, one of the best meats I've ever had in my life. So if you guys are in the area, you gotta eat, gotta have it. Okay, so we're at the Glacier of Goon, and there's this little food truck called Haima Hermer, and they have lobster rolls, lobster soup, some really amazing food, so I'm really glad this is open. It's uh, at 11.30, so make sure to get here at that time, and then you can eat. Yo, you guys gotta come here for this freaking lobster soup. We also got a lobster roll, which is amazing, and it hits the spot. It's so nice and warm, when everything else around you is like super cold, you know? One thing I will say about the appetizers is that the portions are very small 
even though they are really delicious, like um, salmon and dried meats and stuff, but just expect to pay a lot because they don't last long and they're little tiny. So just got done eating in the Foss Hotel, which is actually a pretty popular spot if you're by the Glacier Lagoon. And it was pretty solid food, food man. Super well presented, really tasty stuff. Just tried uh, some some shark, fermented shark, because it's Iceland thing. Look at the menu. Not the move, not the move, y'all. It's very bad, actually. Uh, we're gonna try again later. I guess you get a shot with it, which might make it taste better, but it's not Icelandic's best, I'll tell you that right now. So the fermented shark might actually be one of the single most worst thing I've ever tasted in my life. Um, it really just tastes like rotten, fish it's so bad it even leaves like a lingering aftertaste in your mouth that pretty much destroys and ruins the flavor of every other food in your palate so if you're going to eat it then make sure to eat it last and maybe even take the shot of brenneman which is their distilled liquor that it comes with and is also not good so i wouldn't really recommend you want to try it but go for it if you are adventurous <laughs> It's our last meal in Iceland, and we chose to get some not Icelandic food. We're getting sushi, so I feel ya. Can't go wrong with sushi, man. Let's dig into this. Okay, so we're at this restaurant, Three Prakar or Three Coats, which is an awesome restaurant that I got recommended by like three people so we're here because they got some really awesome meat on the menu so they have whale they have horse puffin shark a bunch of stuff so i'm super excited to try it so i uh, got the whale sashimi it looks uh pretty red man served japanese style honestly it kind of just tastes like beef but it's pretty good a little rough but not bad i like it i know i had sushi once but you know i love sushi so So, also ordered the grilled horse, and uh, we're gonna give this a try. It looks right now like a steak, so I'm pretty excited to try it. This is the first time I ever ate horse. Apparently, it's really good in Iceland, so this is the place to do it. So, the grilled horse is a plus for me, man. It tastes really good. You know, it's very tender, has really good flavor, not chewy or anything, so highly recommend. Okay, so we are at Magic Ice Bar and Gallery. Basically, it's a whole bar where you can have glasses made out of ice and stuff. And you have this whole poncho stuff on. So, hey, we're in Iceland, last day. Might as well do something crazy. So, let's get it. So we're inside this ice bar with the first admission, you get a free drink, so, and it's super cool, man. Everything's like made out of ice. It's pretty crazy. If you're looking for some affordable Icelandic food in downtown Reykjavik, then one of the best spots is Reykjavik Street Food, where you can try tons of traditional Icelandic meals we had the plockfiskr, which is pretty similar to mashed potatoes, but it's like a fish stew. It also comes with a serving of dark rye bread. So if you haven't tried that, this is a great place to try it. All right, and there you 
have it, all the traditional food that you can try in Iceland. And of course we missed a few, but those are some of the highlights. The biggest ones are of course my favorites, Arctic char, roasted lamb, the hot dogs, the soup. I mean, there's tons of amazing, delicious flavors to be had in Iceland, as well as a few other of course, not as good foods like the uh, fermented shark and a few others, but uh, if you're adventurous, Iceland is definitely the place to expand your culinary horizons. So, hope you guys enjoyed our travel vlog through Iceland. If there's any food that you want to try, leave them in the comment section below. Let me know what foods you are most excited about trying. I respond to every single comment, so that'd be pretty cool to know. And if you enjoy the content, like and subscribe. Stay tuned for some future videos, and uh, see you guys later.